In the video, we're going to take a look at how to create this LED light bulb. Let me rotate it around so you can kind of see where we're headed with things. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to go up and I'll say File and say New Design. I will go ahead and save it. So I'll just call it Light Bulb. And save it in whatever folder I need to save it in. So for me, this will be Light Bulb 2. Alright, so I'll go to assemble and say new component. And this is all actually just going to be one component. So I really don't need to do that step, but I will, just because it's our habit. So, I'm going to go to document settings and I'm going to change our units. This time we need to be in millimeters. Alright, so millimeters. Set that and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and I'll go to create. Notice I didn't go to sketch. I'm just going to go to create and say cylinder. And I'll click on the top view here. Draw my cylinder. I want the diameter to be 30. So 30 millimeters. And then I'll go ahead and extrude this thing. I want it to be 40. So I've got that. And now what I'm going to do is I'll go up here to new sketch and I'm going to pick any plane that's going to run perpendicular. So that one will work. I'm going to take a line tool or I could just press the L key. I'll start here and I'm going to go up 20 millimeters and press enter. I do, I, I don't have to do this, but I recommend it. I want to turn this into a construction line. So I'm going to click it and over here on line type, there's construction. Now if you notice, it turned it into a dashed line for me. And that's kind of what I wanted to have happen because this is just a reference tool for me. I'm not actually going to use that in the sketch. So I hit finish sketch now. And I'm going to rotate this now so I can see the end point of the line. And I'll go up here to create. And I'll say sphere. I will click the end point of that line. And I want my diameter here to be 61. Right now my operation is set to cut. I need to change that to join. And then I'll hit OK. So now what I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and kind of start coloring this thing up a little bit. I'm going to right click on the sphere. So I right clicked on it and I say appearance. So I'll right click and select appearance. Here's all the materials I have. So what I'm going to try to do here is find a plastic here. Right now I'm in metals and all the way here's plastic. So I'm going to just kind of shrink that up and let's, let's look through plastics now. There's some polycarbonates. What I'm looking for is something translucent or even transparent. Right? I'll just choose translucent. I'm just going to bring over, I don't know, let's, let's do the white. Pull it over there. And we'll hit close. All right. Now what I want to do is I'm going to have to start putting some fillets in here, right? So I'm going to go up here to the top. Or, I, can, I mean, I can click here or I can press the F key. And I'll click right there in between them. And I want that fillet there to be, let's try 45. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll hit OK. And also, I'm going to come down here to the very bottom and I'm going to fillet it. Let's make that one 5. All right, so I put two fillets. I put a big one in here. And I'm going to put a smaller one in there. Now we're going to go ahead and get to the bottom here and put the threads in. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to come in here and sketch on the bottom. And I'm going to create a sketch here that's just, you know, the same diameter. And I'm going to extrude that to be 15 millimeters. And on this one, I'm going to go ahead, instead of joining, I'll just make it a new body. That'll help me a little bit later on. So I got something going like this, right? Yeah, I'm going to go up here to create. And I'm going to say thread. I know I'm going to thread that right there. I am going to select modeled here. And I'm going to uncheck full length. For my offset, I actually am going to use an offset. I'm going to put three. Okay, for my length there, I'll leave it at 10. You may have to change that. For thread type, I need to change that to ANSI metric M profile. For my size, I'm going to change this to a 22. 
for my designation m22 times 3 is perfect class 6g is perfect and I'm just going to hit OK and there are the threads so now what I'm going to do is chamfer the bottom of the bulb so let's do that we're going to go to modify and there is going to be chamfer so I'm going to click the bottom here and say you know what let's make that chamfer five millimeters All right and we've got one more little thing here let's go ahead and get into sketch mode here okay we'll make us a little circle here I'm just going to bring the circle out here and I'm going to extrude it to be two millimeters so I'll put a two in there I'll do one final thing I'm going to put a little chamfer right here let's go with a 1.5 millimeter there alright now from here it's just a matter we want to go ahead and put a little more color to this so I am gonna I'm gonna pick this piece I want to press the control key on my keyboard and I'll get all these pieces right there I select them all by holding the control key down I'm gonna right click now and say appearance this time I want a different kind of plastic. I don't know that I want translucent plastic for this or transparent. I'm probably just going to get a regular regular type of plastic. Let's just use ABS here and put it on there. Eh, it didn't show up really good. I like to see some contrast so let's undo that. Select them again by hitting the control key. We'll right click and try appearance. And just so I have something that sticks out a little bit put it down there more of a gold All right so I hit close there or actually you know what we can do we could go ahead and select that and let's make that a metal right so instead of plastic let's switch to metal and let's get some sort of aluminum and we'll hit close so now we have our light bulb now you see that that construction line, I don't know if you see it really well, but there it is right there kind of sticking out. What I'll do is I'm going to expand the light bulb over here. So I'll expand that. I'm going to look at sketches. And do you see the eyeball how it's gray? If I uncheck that, it'll turn it off. It's still there. Anytime I need it, I can just check it back on. And those things kind of help us out. I will go ahead and save, right? 